What a beaut. Make a record of this day. You want the honors? Follow you, baby. Thanks, babe. Once again, on top of the world. Stoked to be out here with you boys. Likewise. Yeah, dogs. Dude, look at all that frosting. We got out of Baker and we go back to Colorado and we're able to finish the backcountry season here. Brandon decided to follow us. We're getting to explore some, some new zones around the backyard, which is, is very new for me. Usually we're just like, oh, where do we go? It's springtime, it's like time to get it. This is, this is it, this is the final stage. Where's the best snow? And then we just find it right back where we started from. Brandon played a show in Salt Lake City that ended at 9.30 last night. And we're in Colorado now. We got to the trail at, at seven. So I don't know about math or anything, but that's not a lot of sleep. Also, dude, I swear our room is haunted. I think so too. Yeah, I was getting, like those ticks? weird vibes, dude. Like crazy shit. So I maybe slept like an hour. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn. We're here. Let's take a look at this. I think we both aired at the same time exactly. and we both did the stankiest method at the same time. Oh, I mean, it wasn't bad. It, it didn't look that, it felt a lot worse. They were yeah. just like baby ones. That looks so fun though. Time to party, we're good. Dog, I just got the craziest clip of you getting just torn apart by the wind up there. today, boys. Thing looks pretty disco. Uh, Ricky Becca. Uh, Ricky Becca. Ricky Becca. Ricky Becca. It's your birthday. Ricky Becca. Is this more like a disco or tango? Maybe a little bossa nova. Bossa nova. Either way, it takes two. Hair all good? Yeah, you look great. All right, dropping in five.
Do you want to go first? I don't care. Yeah, same here, kind of. All right, let's start on the two out of three or just one? Just one. One and done? All right, ready? Yeah. Does that mean I'm going first? Yeah. Wow, what? Or you choose. I would have changed my strategy. Ow. You all right? You okay? Yeah, dude, just, that sucked again. Shit. You wanna chill for one? Yeah, I gotta chill. Okay. Hey, Mr. Chad O. You, uh, you wanna hit this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a ride. Yes. Get you in position, dog. Let's get position. Let's get. Friggin' legend, Chad O. Ready down here. Drop in 10. Copy 10. Get it. Yeah, that was a close one. You got this, man. The chicken wing. I bet that looks crazy from your angle right there. I mean, from my eyeballs, it's crazy. <laughs> looks crazy from my balls, too. Copy, Dan. Oh, no. Holy shit. That was so close. You want to get that? All right. Yes. If you go a little bit more riders left, the landing will feel a little steeper, too, I think. We got this one. Chad Otterstrom. When I was 12 years old, I got my first snowboard movie, Revival by Kingpin Productions. And my favorite part was Chad O's section. He was just so smooth and powerful and like crazy technical. Instantly became one of my heroes. Witnessing his playful and super progressive part was one thing, but that whole movie sparked something deep in me that I definitely couldn't ignore. Looking back at it now, I believe the multiverse gave me a gift right there. A path to follow and a true passion. Snowboarding showed up for me and gave me the ability to really enjoy and focus on the good things. It led me to make new friends and new family in places I never could have imagined I'd go. It showed me how to win, but also later, how winning is not the most important thing. You know, life stuff. Yeah, dog. Of course, it hasn't been all roses either. Like anyone's path in life, it's never gonna be dead straight. And trust me, I've had countless people tell me I couldn't do this or shouldn't go for that. But if I learned anything so far, it's that if you choose to follow your passion, nobody can stand in your way. And if they try, they are just lighting up that path even brighter. So here we are, a couple decades later, pretty much as full circle as it gets, about to get a banger shot of one of my childhood heroes. A shot that might inspire a kid to pick up a snowboard. Or give someone that extra little push to say, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go for it. Whatever it is. And in my case, this shot confirms my belief that age is just a mindset. And you can achieve anything you focus on. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, Jack! Make sure to hide. That was so sick.
heading for the bushes. You nervous? Yeah. First time? Oh, I've been nervous lots of times. <laughs> 